Hey there, hobby friends. I'm Jared, and this is Caffeinated Miniatures. Thanks for hanging out with me today. When this Fury of the Deep FOMO box came out, I got all hyped up on Ideneth Deepkin and got a box, along with a couple other kits. Although I slammed together and painted a couple, even making a short for quick Namardi skin, I just wasn't happy with the results, and my brain moved on to other projects. Recently though, I've signed up for an Escalation League that starts in the new year. Everyone starts with like 600 point forces, adding another couple hundred points every few weeks, and culminating in 2000 point forces all built and painted. So I figured this was a good time to learn and play these Ideneth Deepkin, which means figuring out how to fix what I don't like with the previous paint jobs. After looking at the previous models, I really don't like the overall brightness of the Thrall, particularly the skin. I feel like it needs to be darker or at least desaturated. The overall tone of the Thrallmasters is better. It's darker and I like the purple. I just really don't like that shiny, shiny, shiny TMM armor. With some understanding of direction, I tossed together a model that seemed fun to paint and primed it black. Keeping the rider separate from the mount, I decided to start with the eel. And falling back on my love of purple, I mixed some purple and black and covered the whole of the flesh. Then set the mid-tones, covering the majority of the flesh with straight purple. While I'd normally add ice yellow to brighten the purple, this time I went with deep yellow. My thought being that the very vibrant yellow would relatively quickly overpower the purple, allowing me to transition to a desaturated yellow for the highlights. Giving the flesh the appearance of a shimmer, vaguely resembling fish scales. For the face, I pushed this mix even further to yellow, making it much lighter than the body. For the fin, or spine, what is that? Fin it is, I guess. I diluted the deep yellow a little more and slowly built the opacity towards the tips. Then applied some ice yellow, rather sparingly, to the very tips. To create a desaturated cool grey skin tone, more appropriate for a soul-stealing underwater elf, I mixed light sea grey and black and slapped that all over the flesh of the elf. Then building the volumes and the highlights, I mixed in more and more cold white. Going forward, I think I'll add more light sea grey, just adding white at the very end. This result is alright, but a little too chalky. Increasing the light sea grey and decreasing the white should add some more interest and decrease the chalkiness. For the saddle, boots, straps, and belt, I went to a favorite bluish leather formula, starting with deep sea blue, then adding some ice yellow for highlights. I don't love painting many of these little details, so I mostly chuck some edge highlights on the upper facing edges and moved on. Moving to the armor, I kind of took a cue from the Auric War Chanter. Mixing deep yellow into turquoise, I created a deep, oceanic jade for the darker shadow color. I 
As the highlights got brighter, I wanted the color to become desaturated, so I mixed in more and more cold white. The end result was decent here, however I might experiment with more yellow mid-tones to highlights. Not convinced it'll be better, but I'll probably give it a shot. Felt like some more yellow would be good. And there were a few metal details remaining. So they needed to be a yellow gold. As they were rather small, I didn't bother with a bunch of layers or blending. Just slapped on some flat earth, followed by deep yellow, then a very sparing bit of ice yellow. Because purple is awesome. Some of the remaining details needed to be purple. However, to add some different interest, I used deep sea blue for the shadows. Once again, adding ice yellow to the purple for the highlights. Then just glue the rider to the mount, and here's the result. Well, there you go, the first eel of maybe many? Honestly, I have no idea where this list is gonna end up. Regardless, I'm fairly happy with the result. Plus, I've got an idea, or several actually, of ways I can speed up the process for bigger units of thralls and reavers, while still enjoying that process and result. I hope you've enjoyed this week's ramblings. This was definitely no tutorial. More like showing the process and missteps so we can all learn from my mistakes. As always, if you made it this far, you are an absolute legend. While you're here, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, just do all the things. And thanks for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.